tell you this being T. But we, I see why people are choosing it. It is awesome. I am able to put them shots where I want them. All right, so I'm a little bit out of breath. It's adrenaline. I'm excited. This is so much fun, man. So if you haven't already, make sure that you comment, like, subscribe, share my video. Who else is out here busting it in the woods? So until next time, this is Tactic Q. And uh, you know what? You'll probably see me in a minute. I'll tell you a little bit more about the gun too. All right, so I decided to uh, film outside today. It's raining. I love the rain. I find that it's uh, extremely soothing. We have a little bit of thunder, so hopefully it doesn't interfere with the audio too much. Let's jump straight into uh, the details. So this is the BNT GHM9, which is Grasshopper Mouse. It's a um, competitor for the CZ Scorpion, which I had that at one point, so I can talk a little bit to that later. What we'll start with is me clearing the gun. Alright. So, um, this is Gen 1. With the Gen 1, they did have some issues with the, um, the feet ramp, but this has been corrected. And as of this video, I've put over 700 rounds through it between my practice round, you know, full metal jacket, uh, hollow points, plus feet, so I'm confident. With no issues. So, um, yeah. Now, this is a 7 inch barrel, and it's a tri lug barrel. I opted to go with the BNT Trilug Flash Hider, right? Now I know I could have got some a little bit cheaper, but if I got a tri a Trilug, why not get a Trilug Flash Hider? And it's cool. Um, and then it leaves me open to the possibility of running it suppressed, okay? With ease. Moving on to my light, I decided to just repurpose uh, a stream light that I already had. Um, it fits perfectly too because I didn't have a lot of room left because it is a smaller smaller gun, it's compact and um, I used some of the the longer hardware that came with it and it worked fine it's really secure now moving on to my cutie attachment you're wondering what is this that I have going on well when I tried to fix this to the rail it was uh it just wasn't working right it was starting to eat into my gun. So I was able to repurpose or, or find this G&G &G rail attachment that I already had. And it worked perfectly. Moving on to my grip. Now I prefer this angle four grip versus that vertical. It just works better with how I hold the gun. My preferred grip. And oh, what I wanted to mention, this isn't BNT. But it's a company that makes it um, rich for them. And so they took into account even the takedown pin. So it, it fits really snug in there. It's all made for it. And then move on to my sights. These are the factory sights, which I had to utilize, um, obviously, when I first got it while I was waiting on my RMR. And I don't have any complaints with those. I mean, they work awful. None. No complaints at all. If you do, um, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I opt for the Trigicon um, with optics. And I did again. So here I have the Trigicon RM07 RMR, and it is on a Trigicon co witness mount. Now, um, like I said, this thing is already extremely accurate, right? So the RMR just takes the accuracy and the roof. And now, um, oh, I forgot about the size of my MOA. So I went with the six and a half MOA. I thought it was gonna be too big. You know, I really was concerned about it, but I'm so glad that I did. It works perfect, no complaints at all. And then, um, you know, how the RMR is going to adjust to whatever environment you're in automatically. This one actually offers you the option of manually changing it um, with the little buttons on the side. I definitely thought that that was pretty badass. So, moving, uh, oh, and, okay, since I had to wait on my RMR, if you were wondering why, it's because I had to get it in gray. Had to get it in gray to match the Gen 1 upper, which is gray. Um, and I think it looks pretty good. It was worth the wait. Yeah, it's pretty, 
it's sweet. So moving on to the charger handle. It's, um, it's stationary, you know, it doesn't fold or anything, but that's not an issue for me because the way that I prefer to hold it uh, in my hand isn't that big where it gets in the at all. So I'm fine with that. Now moving on to the lower. It's the BNT lower uh, with the standard like um, AR-like controls. The only thing I do want to mention is that that slide lock is on the bottom. So um, I thought that, you know, it was going to be here, but that's just the release. Yeah, and then I want to mention the safety. It is robust, but for me, um, it's big in a good way, okay? Uh, I prefer, I would prefer this. If you don't, obviously they have other options out there. And let's get to the magic. That's why I'm looking at it. I'm trying to make sure I'm not skipping anything. But let's talk about what makes this thing, um, I mean, it performs so well, so soft, so sweet, and it is the recoil system that is in here. It is a hydraulic recoil buffer system. The blowbacks, they have the two springs in there. This has the two springs along with a buffer, um, a hydraulic buffer in there. You can also see that there is a grasshopper mouse etched in here. I thought that was super cool, man, when I broke it down and saw that. Yeah. Print is a really sweet gun. I don't think that if you decided um, to pick it up that you'll be disappointed. I was not. I am not. Um, now, when I did get this, it came with a brace, which obviously a brace or a stock is going to do nothing but improve your accuracy. Um, so, yeah, I got to decide if I'm going to SPR it or just continue to uh, use my sling. The sling works well too. I've, um, I've learned to master that, the one point or just the regular sling. Yeah, I don't think I have missed anything about the gun. Now, I do wanna talk a little bit about why I chose this one. Now, um, you might think it's just a toy, but I wanted something, I wanted a truck gun, right? Um, and I wanted something that I could have in a, you know another part of the house that's not the bedroom that's small enough. This fits the bill. You can slide this in a drawer because, you know, look at how slim it is. Uh, and then, you know, without the, the magazine in there, you can put it anywhere. And um, sometimes you just need those extra rounds. And this is a great option. I'm super happy that I got it. Oh, I mentioned that I did have a CZ Scorpion, right? And with the Scorpion, it was about that long. And see, what's back here is that buffer system. I would definitely pick this any day over a CZ Scorpion, I should say, Scorpion. <laughs> so, yeah, that is it. Um, I want to say thank you guys again. If you haven't already, make sure that you like the video, share it, and subscribe. If you have not subscribed, are you drinking Bud Light? What's wrong with you? So, anyway, I appreciate you. This is Tactic Q, and until next time, keep shooting. What's up? That grasshopper mouse.